It is with joy that we gather here today. That whatever else is happening in the world and whatever expectations we had coming into today, it is time to be present here in this moment. America's coronavirus crisis is growing. It's been a great week of fun. You guys have braved the elements and still had an incredible week welcoming friends, family, guests into everything. <laughs> And this scripture that you have chosen, that you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. You're not only in this for your own comfort, but you also see an opportunity to further the call on your lives to help others move from being foreigners and strangers to family members of the same household. This scripture is who you are. She supports my dreams and calls me out when I am not living into them. She cares about others on such a high level and is amazing at making people feel welcome. Whether it's a conversation with a stranger on the street, a newcomer at church, or with his co-workers and students, he always acts with kindness and is genuinely interested in others. I'm excited to live a life with Garrett where I'm constantly learning to lay down my life to immerse in others' culture. A life filled with friendship and pursuit of others not like me, whom I hope can experience unity across differences, because that's where I have seen my experience of God's love to be strongest and most filled with hope for the world. And as you experience that love from each other, may it be a small reminder of the incredible gift of the love that Jesus in, is in our lives, a gift that gives us the opportunity to be a kingdom family that we didn't think possible. Joyce, today I take you to be my better half. I promise to love you, support you, and make you laugh. I promise to smile at least three times a day and turn towards you even when I want to pull away. I'll be the best husband, father, and friend I can be. I'll bless and serve others with you as we reflect the Trinity. I promise to learn and to grow and put less value on comfort. And when you're sad, I'll sit with you even when my bum hurts. You weren't ready for that. <laughs> no matter what happens, I'll be here for you. For as long as we live, starting from I do. who put the furthest out first loving one another even when we're at our worst i'll be your biggest investor as we do this life together i'll learn to speak your language lean in when you feel anguish i'll turn towards you when we fight choosing always to unite for the rest of my life i'll forever be your wife 2020 We've sailed storms and waves To be here today We've learned how to be brave And life's a journey With turns and twists Both Follow God's voice and we will persist. God's love and mine will always, always be in your midst. Truly, it's in your time. They met, they fell in love, and they decided to unite and start their chapter of life together. Even on a cloudy day, 
the sun is still there, just like God is always going to be there, is never changing, even when things don't go our, our way. And that's what this entire wedding is, has felt like for sure. Bless today, bless this marriage. We pray for Joyce as she's getting ready to be a wife, Lord. I just thank you that she gets to be the flavor of the home, Lord. We pray that she would continue to be that flavor of joy and peace and fun, creativity, Lord. Pray that you would give them wisdom as they navigate new roads together. Garrett and Joyce, with God, your families and friends as witnesses, by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You are no longer two but one, therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. Garrett and Joyce, you may now kiss one another. Finally reality With you